everybody welcome back to my channel this is glitzy gem thank you for watching and for those who are new to my channel please subscribe the notification bell and then like my video so today we're going to go ahead and do the worst uh the worst and good of uh 2019 eyeshadows that i've been or makeup that i've been wearing throughout the year you know the tutorials i've been doing throughout the year and the makeup hauls that i've shown y'all throughout the year and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get started um we're gonna go in with um, this palette here by Beauty Treats called Royalty Glam. I compared this one almost with, uh, I compared this one to the, um, you know, the formulation. You know, I haven't done a wear test on this one, but the formulation on this one was very good. But I compared uh, the looks, like the colors. They were so similar to the, um, to the Juvia's Place. Um... Which palette was it? I think it was the Juvia's Place. Uh, which one was it? I think it was the Masquerade palette. This one here. I think I compared the colors to this one. Did I? Well, this is how the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette looks. But I'm not sure if it was this one that I compared, compared it to this one. Or did I compare it to the Juvia's Place. There was another one also. Um, it was the yellow one. <laughs> it was the yellow one. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think the yellow one is called... Um, I hope I have it in here. Because I know I did a tutorial on that one too. One of the very first tutorials. I think it's... What is that? that the Afrique? You freak. Let me find that palette. Maybe this is what I was talking about. I think I did compare it to this one, to the Juvia's Place um, Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. Uh, the colors kind of are similar to each other. You know, the purples. I don't know, I just got the same look from this one and this one. I got the same look using this palette here. Uh, this is a very good uh, first impressions palette that I that I did on it. I, I didn't do a wear test on it. I probably will in 2020. I'll probably do another eye look with this one in 2020. And do like a wear test. I'm going to start doing a wear test on my eyeshadows. And first impressions, of course, you know. First impressions in a wear test is always... It's always a given, you know, when you first apply it, you know, it's good, you know, or you can tell, you know, how they perform and all that. And so, um, I like the way both of these performed. This one, I actually got at Ross for, there you go, you have the price there? I think it's $5.99. Yeah, I got it at Ross for $5.99, so if you can't afford the $25 or $15 or when they go on sale, it's best to get them when they go on sale. But if you can't even afford that either, um, I do suggest that you go to Ross and get yourself, uh, go and hit their makeup aisle and um, they put that palette. It's called Royalty Glam by Beauty Treats and the Masquerade Mini Palette. These two were, were very good, very good in first impressions performance. The next one here I have is called Tropical Escapes. I have it backwards. Here's the chocolate mistake. I have the packaging backwards. This one was an eh to me. It wasn't like it was bad and it wasn't like it was uh it wasn't that great either because for the fact that it has a lot of shimmer shades in it. So that's the reason why um I say eh because uh first impressions they were okay. Uh, the next shade, the next palette that I have here is called the Pastel Pop. This was very, this was very popular, Pastel Pop. It had very nice colors on the inside. You can tell I kind of used it a lot in some of my tutorials. And I did have some requests for this Malibu Glitz Pastel Pop eyeshadow palette, which I got for like five ninety nine at um at Melrose. So, um, can you give me a minute? Give me a second. Okay, well, I'm back. Thank you for giving me that second. Um, I had to answer my phone, so it was vibrating. 
Okay, another palette that I've actually done a tutorial on. The Beauty Bar FX Radiant Eyes. And as you can tell when I open this up, was very loved. You know, you see all that. <laughs> all the powder. It was very loved. Um, it's a very good natural palette. You can um, make everyday looks, light looks with this. And this was my go-to palette. Um, I haven't worn it since I've been trying out all these other makeups and wearing, doing wear tests on these other makeups. So I haven't really tried it. But yeah, this is a, this one's a good one. This is a good one. Um, yeah, I didn't have any complaints about it. I mean, it, it performs pretty good. And I actually also paid like five ninety nine at Ross. Most of these, most of these are you gonna get are like from a Ross hauls, or Dee Dee's hauls, and Melrose hauls that I've done. And I will link, I will do a card up there for my um, my hauls that I did, or I can do a playlist, my my makeup playlist, and you can look at all the hauls that I did for the year twenty nineteen, and you can see those there. The next palette I have here also by Mally Booklets. I really didn't like this palette. Called Touch of Summer for the for the most part of it is because um I was trying to create like a pink look to this, you know, to from these shades. I was trying to create a pink look. But uh not only that, I know I mean even if I couldn't create a pink look out of the shades that I had in this, um it performed good it's just that the shades were just kind of like they were all they, they would all come or they were all coming out looking the same you know as before you know as um like every every look that i would put on i think except for the one when i tried this blue shade here i think that was the only look that i know that I realized that was kind of different apart from all the other looks that i tried creating with this palette but all the other looks kind of look the same you know warm toned you know, um, just warm toned, really. They were all coming out warm toned because it is a warm toned palette, but it kind of like the shades were, were coming out like the berries and the cranberries, and some were coming out. They were all coming like blending in together, you know. So I didn't do a wear test on this, but I really didn't like the, new, the first impressions on this one. So, you know, I mean, you can watch my videos like i said i linked a uh, card up there if you want to watch my if you want to watch my makeup playlist of all the um eyeshadow palettes i've i've worn you can do that now this one the maybelline new york soda pop i think this one is one of their this one and the lemonade craze for the two best um eyeshadow palettes that I've worn um, so far and their formula was very good for this year they're very good um, I think all their palettes have been performing very well it's just I think I might have not liked the the way some of their uh, nudes their like I'm wearing this one right now the 24 karat nudes by Maybelline And then, um, and then I had did a tutorial on this one as well, the blush nudes. Um, these were all cool toned shades. They were okay. I like it. I mean, I can't say I didn't like it. I liked it. And I like this one as well. This one looks more like a sultry. It gives you like a most, more sultry glamour look. And this one looks this one more looks more like a cool toned palette. It, it was more like a cool toned look that you'll, you'll get with these with these shades. So I liked them. So these were two good palettes for 2019, the Maybelline that I've tried so far. And I've done wear tests on these palettes as well. I've done wear tests on them. I haven't, I didn't do wear tests on any of these other palettes I'm showing you guys. Um, I think I did do a wear test on, on these Believe Beauty beauty line the bleed beauty line i think i might have done a wear test on these two palettes i didn't like the overall performance of these two palettes i really don't like them i don't really see myself reaching for these palettes but i i mean i, I paid my money i paid money for it so i'm gonna try to find you know i think this one oxidized on me and it kind of looked all black it like it just turned all one color 
and this one I think was the better a better palette from than this one here that actually stayed on and they didn't look all one color and it didn't oxidize on me I think this is the only palette that didn't oxidize on me so yeah so these were a no these weren't that good and uh, so it was a fail for me on that one All right, uh, the, well, you know, I love all my Juvia's Place color. I love all my Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I do. I love them. I love them all. They have, their, their formula is very good. I do recommend people buying Juvia's Place. Um, I haven't tried, and I do recommend Maybelline. Maybelline is really good. Um, especially the one I'm wearing. I love the one I'm wearing, the 24 karat nude. That one's I like the the palette on that one. I guess it just flatters more like light to medium skin tones. And uh, this is how this one looks because you can tell I didn't really wear it as much, but I really like the way this turned out. I think this is the one that came out like the royalty glam. I think it just gave me like a rainbow look. Yeah. So I really like this one too. The next palette is another Juvia's Place palette. I will show you that. So this was a this was a good one. Um, which is a uh, Deuce by Juvia. It's it's I liked it. It's just that the sh I had to look. I did one look with it. Their colors are, are very light pastel shades. So. I didn't like it just didn't come on I mean the, look at these shades I mean I love these little highlighted shades here you can use this one as a highlighter look at this one here you know it's so so shimmery and this one this one has like it almost it, this one has like a pink sparkle in it as well if you can see that like a pink sparkle but um, I guess this is like my least favorite out of all the Juvia's Places palette, which is the Deuce by, by Juvia's is my least favorite out of the ones I tried this year. So, but I still liked it. I still like the way it performed. I haven't done a wear test on these. I might do one next year. I you know for 2020, I might do one, do a wear test on them. See how long they wear. So... I will be doing a video on that. I also have the Tribe by Juvia's. This one was very nice. I really like the color. I really like the color palette, the color shades in this palette. It was really nice. I liked it. Um, so yeah, this is another good one. I tried in twenty twenty in twenty nineteen. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, then we have this clean color natural eyeshadow palette. This one was a good one. I like the way this one performed. These do, these have, these are natural shades. Um, I like the way they performed. This is a good palette. I got this at DD's for $4.99. So if you're interested in a shimmery natural look, natural, natural colors, you should, yeah, go hit DD's and Ross and get yourself some of these nice palettes. Clean color. Clean color natural. That one was good. Um, there's another Malibu Glitz Street Ink. This is another favorite uh, Malibu Glitz palette that I had here. I think I did like two or three tutorials on that. Maybe four. I did four looks out of this one. So this is a good one. Now the wear, I did a wear test on that one and it, uh, I did a wear test on the other one, the, um, uh, the pastel pop and for the most part, I think it stayed the same. I think, I don't know if it's long wearing. I don't think it was long wearing. I think it started to, after the fourth hour. I think it started to, the color started to, um, started to fade away. 
Now, I really don't recommend these eyeshadow, these, these uh, sparkling cream palettes because these creamy for some reason they were not sticking to my lids i don't know why they weren't sticking to my lids but they were making a mess they're making a mess all over my face i did some color pop ones with glitter in them too i'll show you those but look that's how they look i don't want to put them on myself right now because um they do get all over your they do get all over you but i really didn't like the way these performed on me you know, for the most part, I think they were all coming out the same color. Like, I think they were all coming out yellow. Instead of the shade that's on them. I don't know. Just, um, maybe this one might have came out a little better. You know, because it's silver. You know, but, um, like all the other shades, like the orange, the pink, and the green. They just, they weren't coming out. The colors, like the colors that I wanted. I mean, they do shift in color. Like this one shifts in color than this silver one. So I might give it another try and see. You know, maybe I, I probably need to wear them by themselves instead of wearing it with eyeshadow. I don't know. I'll I'll give it another try. And then I also have um, so did this C color eye palette. This is the. This is a dupe to the Nudie Patootie palette from Laurely. This is a, uh, a dupe for that. Um, I didn't do, I, I just did for uh, first in, uh, first impressions of this. And um, I haven't done another look. I think I only did one look on this one. And it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't like too thrilled about it, but it was okay. Um, another palette I have here is called Vacay. Also got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you that this uh this dope for it. I got it from um, Melrose Department Store, and I think I paid like five ninety nine for it as well. And then. I don't think I ever got a chance to do like the dope two because there's another part two of that palette. I don't think I did a, I don't think I did a a uh, first impressions or tutorial on that one. I don't think I did. I think I was going to, but I never did. But anyway, so this is another palette that I tried in 2019. Vacay. This one was. I like. I like this one. I like the way it's performed. I mean, it's it's a new palette. It's a new palette, and um, they're just natural shades, so they perform like they should. They're okay, you know. It's not not like like I said, it wasn't the best. This by the Beauty Barn. I did get it at Ross as well. This one was for seven ninety nine. You can see that. So this one's okay too. sure if I'm missing other palettes throughout this year that I have not tried. I mean that I have that I don't I don't have with me that I've that I've tried. I might do another part two of this video of like the the good and the ones that failed and the ones that are good. I do a part two of this video. The next the next palette I have here is the uh -huh honey palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. Um, I love yellow. I mean, I, I mean, I love all colors. But, um, I love the way I came up with the eye look on this one. You can see, yeah. So this is a good one by ColourPop. Then I also have another favorite from ColourPop that I liked. Main Squeeze. So let me open this up. I like this one. I should do a review on the lipsticks that I did that year as well because not a review, yeah, I like a a fail, a good or fail on the lipsticks because the lipsticks for this one that I wore in a video 
and my main skis video for this one came out really good you know um it was uh it was non-transference so i should do a video on on the lipsticks that i wore that year of some lipsticks i guess i can do a video on lipsticks that are long wearing um the take me back to brazil palette was good i'm gonna say i was thrilled i wasn't thrilled about this palette i really I really didn't get too much use out of this palette. I didn't do too much looks with this. Too much. I didn't create too many looks with this. But I think I think I'll start to be more creative and get into this palette and and create more looks. More. Um, I should say more. More. Um, ex experted. Uh, more creative i guess i guess i wanted to say i wanted to, i guess i get more creative with this palette next time i next time i wear it next time i try to do another look on this with this palette it's like h cosmetics take me back to brazil palette so yeah so those were all the palettes that i that i think this is the part that i know of right now so far I wore for 2019 that were good and fails of 2019 from my eyeshadow palette. So, yeah. And I um, guess that's all that I have to say on this video on those palettes. I don't think I have anything else I wanted to say. I think, like I said, I'm going to do one for the lips. Like a lipstick. Um... I guess I gotta do one for the lipsticks now. <laughs> All right. So I know there's another part two of my eyeshadow. I'll go ahead and do a part two of the eyeshadows I wore for 2019. I'll do a part two of that. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you, gems. Bye.